Happy holidays, everyone. This your girl, Lady Tarot T. I am back with another pick a card reading. Today is going to be a daily message for the collective. So we got three piles. Pile one, rose quartz. Pile two, carnelian stone. And pile three, we have the citrine stone. So I'm going to put the timestamps down below. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click that little bell button so you can be notified whenever I upload a reading. For those of you who feel led to donate to my channel, my cash app and PayPal information will always be down below in the description box. Let's go ahead and get into it. Keep in mind that this is a general and daily timeless reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. For those of you who chose pile one, let's go ahead and get into your daily message, Rose Quartz. All right, so let's see what message spirit has for you for today's daily message. So you have the letter S, okay? So the letter S could be significant for you. Oh, can you hear me whisper your name? My life is better with you in it. And you have the number 18. Interesting. All right. So somebody could be whispering your name. Um, this is like a question. Can you hear me whisper your name? So I'm getting somebody feels that life is better with you being in it. Okay. With you being in this person's life. Let's. Oh, wow. We have regret. So someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. So again, the number 18 could be significant. Maybe you've known this person for like 18 years, 18 months. Or like I said, maybe this number 18 is definitely significant. And we have the letter S. Okay, so like I said, that could be significant for you. But I'm getting somebody is feeling a lot of regret. They feel a lot of regret and remorse for how they treated you. And this person feels that their life will be better with you being in it. Okay. Your tarot, we got the five of needles. Air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Conflict. Okay, we got the eight of presents. Earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn. We got the Queen of Presence, okay? Earth energy. So you could be um, an earth sign or you could have heavy earth in your chart, okay? We have ascending. Ooh, okay. Ooh, look at that. We got bound. Interesting. Could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could be a Capricorn, but I'm getting somebody sees you moving forward. Somebody sees you ascending, um, growing, Ooh. moving forward to new heights. Um, standing in your power, valuing yourself, okay? Definitely with this self-worth card, beautiful energy. But I'm getting somebody is feeling a lot of regret and remorse for how they treated you. This person, um, this connection that you had with this person could have been very toxic, okay? Um, especially with this Five of Swords here, mind games, um, some sort of conflict, disagreement with this person. I feel like you, this was either, I'm getting definitely a relationship, uh, maybe you tried to work, put in the effort to make this relationship work, but I'm getting, yeah, somebody feels a lot of regret for how they treated you. Let's see. We have, it's up to you. We have willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. And then you have compromise again. Beautiful energy. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I had a phone call. So my, I had to pause the camera. All right. So Spirit is saying it's basically up to you. Um, yeah, I'm getting like the ball is in your court. It's basically up to you whether or not, you know, you want to accept this person back into your life. I'm getting, you may be willing to compromise if this results to like love. Yeah. Cause I'm getting, we got two cards here and both cards here is talking about compromising. So, or maybe you're willing to accept this person if they're willing to compromise or this, I feel like this person has to be able to compromise. When it comes to this relationship, definitely this is surrounding love, but I'm getting somebody sees you ascending, moving forward, growing, you're focusing on yourself, maybe your career, you're valuing yourself a little more, and this person is just feeling a lot of regret here. Um, and I feel like it's totally up to you, okay, um, whether or not, you know, you're willing to allow this person back into your life. I feel like for a lot of you, if this person is willing to compromise, then I feel like you will give them a shot. Um, but again, like with this devil energy, the bound energy, toxic energy surrounding this person or within the connection, this person has to be willing to cut that out and be willing to compromise and work together with you. That's what I'm getting here with this. Let's grab, um... One more message. Let's see if we can get some messages from this person just to see, like, what 
their feelings are or possibly any messages that they have for you. So let's take a look. So I'm going to be using the Hidden Truth Oracle. Okay, so let's get some messages from this person that feels a lot of regret. Look, they have a lot to say. <laughs> we got like three cards that came out. So you have, I remember every detail of that day. I know I was a distraction from your pain and I lost myself for a little while. Interesting. So yeah, this person may have lost themselves. Um, <clears throat> some sort of detail of some day. They remember every detail of that day. I'm getting maybe this could have been um, in reference to like the separation, <clears throat> um, or them feeling, you know, that, that, a uh, sense of regret and remorse, um, the day that you walked out, <laughs> um, this person lost themselves for a little while. Uh, they also feel that they were a distraction from your pain. Um, they, they kind of distracted you, um, but I'm getting this person is having a lot of regret here. And I feel like this person wants to work with you. I feel like this person is willing or at least they want to compromise with you. But again, like I said, um, it's totally up to you, okay, whether or not you want to um, try to continue a connection, a relationship with this person. Let's grab one more message here. I was in love with you. Wow. Okay. So this person definitely still has a lot of love for you. Um, or they were in love with you. I still feel like they still have some sort of love here because they are, um, they could be, like I said, willing to compromise here. And again, you could be opening up or you could be willing to accept this person only if they're willing to compromise with you. So that's what I have for you. Um, some of y'all could have been dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm feeling with the bound energy, air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. However, you could be dealing with any sign. If this reading resonates with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. For those of you who chose pile two, carnelian stone, let's go ahead and get into your daily message. All right, so you have Aries. Aries energy is in the building. Some of y'all could be an Aries, or you could be dealing with an Aries. All right, many of my favorite memories are with you. Interesting, all right? We have the number three, and also I admire your strength, okay? So strong Aries, Leo energy. The number three could be significant for you, but I'm getting this person. Somebody feels that a lot of their favorite memories are with you. So again, you could be this Aries, or this could be an Aries. Okay, somebody definitely admires your strength. We have interference in external party is meddling in this relationship. Your tarot, we got the ace of needles, ace of swords. Okay, we got the two of potions, relationship, connection. We got the moon energy. So a lot of y'all could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm getting air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, and yeah, strong um, Aries here. We got fresh start. All right. We have mirroring. Interesting. And then you also have forgiveness. Interesting. Somebody is taking action. Yeah, take action. Somebody is taking action towards you. I feel like this is in regards to a relationship. There could have been a situation where somebody was trying to interfere in this connection. Okay. But I'm getting somebody here is coming forward wanting to ask for forgiveness. Okay. I'm getting somebody here is very emotional. They're very in their feelings as well yeah i'm seeing that with this water energy and especially the moon energy um ace of swords clarity truth yeah i'm getting somebody is going to be um speaking some sort of truth or bringing you some sort of clarity somebody wants a fresh start this person wants to ask for forgiveness um and i'm getting due to a third party or somebody wanting to meddle in this connection here i feel like this person is definitely taking action um, <laughs> let's see, we have don't stop yet. Yeah, and I was feeling that too. I'm like, no, this person is not going to stop taking action towards you. Yeah, I'm definitely getting this was either a separation, a breakup, because we have detachment. Okay, you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. So I'm getting, okay, there could have been definitely a separation, a third party interference. Maybe somebody tried to interfere in your connection uh, with this Aries, or like I said, you could be an Aries, but I'm getting somebody is not going to stop until they ask for forgiveness. Somebody is definitely taking action towards you and they're not going to stop. Um, this person wants to ask for forgiveness. Again, I feel like there was some sort of a releasing or separation, a breakup, a pause. 
of some sort. And I feel like this person, due to the interference, because a lot of things could be going on within this connection that you have with this person. But I'm getting this person is trying to release negative energy. They're trying to release their old patterns or old ways of doing things. And they're wanting a fresh new start. So I'm getting they're releasing what is no longer serving them. Um, if it if it's not serving them for their highest good, they're releasing that, okay? And this could be in regards to this interference, third party. They're definitely taking action. They admire you. Um, I'm hearing third time's a charm. And that's funny because we have three here. So that number could be significant for you. But I'm getting this person. Somebody is definitely going to be speaking their truth. You're going to be receiving some sort of clarity. And this person is not going to stop until they ask for forgiveness, until they get you to forgive them because a lot of their favorite memories within life is surrounded by you like that's what i'm getting this is definitely speaking of a of a connection a relationship two people saying eye to eye and i'm getting yeah that somebody is releasing their old patterns and their ideas when it comes to love they're releasing what is no longer serving them and somebody is coming forward asking for forgiveness okay we got a lot of elements here aries fire energy aries leo sagittarius we got water energy cancer pisces scorpio we got air energy libra gemini aquarius you could also be dealing with earth energy here as well aries leo sagittarius yeah, strong Aries, but Earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn as well. So, yeah, that's what I have for you. Um, if this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Last but certainly not least, for those of you who chose Pile 3, we got the uh, Citrine Stone. Let's go ahead and get into your daily message. Let's see what message your spirit has for you. I wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire, fire energy, okay, so maybe you're upset with a fire sign, maybe you're upset with someone, we have the number seven, that could be significant for you, oh, even though we haven't talked in a while, I still care for you, I kick myself from the thought of losing you, I can't take back what has happened between us, I wasn't thinking at the time, but now I know you were the best thing in my life to help me grow. You will forever be the one that got away. Interesting. Whoa. And then you also have, I'm proud of you. Interesting. So while we got a lot of mixed energy here, where someone, or maybe this is your energy, okay? You wouldn't piss on this person if they were on fire. The number seven could be significant for you. However, I am getting that somebody is proud of you. Okay, whatever you're accomplishing, I'm getting a little, a bit of love or past person here. This person is a lot of, in a lot of regret. Um, yeah, feeling a lot of remorse and regret for, you know, like losing you or what has happened between the two of you. Okay, let's see. We have second chance. Look at that. Wow, I swear I cannot make this shit up. Second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. So that's what I was feeling like a past energy. Somebody that you were already with definitely could be a fire sign. But I'm getting this person may have pissed you off. I'm really hearing like you wouldn't piss on this person if they were on fire. This person is proud of you. Maybe you could be doing something that, you know, for someone to be proud of. Yeah, I'm getting somebody that's proud of you. So maybe you're accomplishing something. Maybe you're working. Um... Maybe you're going after your career, you know, your goals, your, you know, your dreams. I'm getting somebody who's definitely proud of you. Somebody wants a second chance. This person feels that they deserve a second chance. Let's see. We have the Knights of Potions, Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got the, wow, Eight of Potions, Eight of Cups, okay? A lot of Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the Knight of Presence, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have Communication. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to communicate with you. I'm getting somebody walked away from you. Yeah, this person may have walked away from you, Eight of Cups. That's what the Eight of Potions is, the Eight of Cups. So I'm getting somebody walked away from you. Um, but I'm getting this person wants a second chance. This person wants to communicate with you, okay? I'm getting, there is some sort of a change within this person where they're going from the Knight of Potions to the Knight of Presence. So they're going from romantic lover boy to someone who is very dedicated or trying to be loyal, moving very slow. Okay, that's what I'm getting, though. The Knight of Presence, Knight of Pentacles energy to me is someone, even though they're very slow, if I, if, I, if I could get any knight, it would definitely be the Knight of Pentacles. Solid offer. You know, somebody who's dedicated, they're loyal, you can depend on them, they're very reliable. So I'm getting this person maybe changing um, something about this person that they're changing and they feel that they deserve a second chance with you. So communication here, this person wanting to communicate with you, we have stuck. 
yeah, this person feels stuck. They're unable to move forward here. Yeah, they, they're kicking their self just by the thought of losing you. Yeah, so they may have walked away from you or you may have walked away from them. But however, this person definitely wants a second chance. Uh, we have barrier. Yeah, so I'm getting this person is feeling stuck and they're blocked. Okay, maybe you put this, you put this block up. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, you put a barrier up. So maybe you're not allowing this person to come back into your life. That's the energy that I'm picking up here. We have communicate clearly. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to communicate. But I'm getting somebody is, is, is like unable to communicate due to this barrier. You put a block up. Okay? Yeah, this person is definitely like they haven't talked to you in a while. They're, they're really upset with themselves. They're really angry with themselves because they let you get away. Yeah, it's like you were the best thing that ever happened to this person. That's what I'm getting. And I'm feeling a strong sense of communication. This person wants to communicate with you, but they're unable to communicate with you. It's almost like this person is watching you from the sidelines. <laughs> you know, like you could be going after your dreams, your goals, your ambitions, you know, all of that could be really working on yourself, your career, and they're really proud of you. But it's like, they're not able to celebrate with you. So it's like they're just watching at a distance or watching in the background. Um, yeah, you cut off communication with this person and I feel like they're stuck. They're in this stuck energy. Uh, we have trust. You have the strong connection. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. So this person is trying to trust in their intuition, okay? They're trying to, to I feel like, build a strong connection with themselves um they're trying to have more faith and they're trying to go with their intuition um and we have if you believe interesting so i feel like because there is a blockage because you cut this person out or whatever happened between the two of you it was it definitely a falling out um i'm getting like this person they definitely i'm getting this energy of them believing that like if they have faith if they kind of work on themselves that they will get this second chance with you that's what that's the energy that i'm getting um let's pull some messages here let's see what this person has to say because it seems like they're trying to uh trying to evolve or grow into something different they're trying to mature okay that's the energy that i'm getting but this person definitely wants to communicate with you and you know it's like you will you will forever be the one that got away if you know if you don't let them back in you will definitely be the one that got away that's the energy that i'm getting um so we have i wish i could take back my words yeah this person wishes that they could take back their words it's time for me to heal now so i'm getting this person definitely is healing or they're trying to heal um, I feel like they're going to try to work on themselves in order to get another chance with you. That's the energy that I'm getting. I replay our conversations over and over. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So for some of you, you may be dealing with someone else. You could be dating someone new. This person left when they saw you with someone. That's just for some of you. Um, don't force it if it don't fit. But I'm getting this person left when they saw you with someone. And I'm getting this person is definitely like they're replaying events and conversations over and over and over in their head and they're just kind of stuck okay they're they're in this place of not being able to move forward they want to communicate with you um and they're trying to have faith and trust that they will get another chance with you that's the energy that i'm getting and i'm gonna leave it there if this reading resonates with you in any way like share and subscribe i'll see you next time